Welcome back guys, how you all doing? My name is Marks, and this is Marks Craft. So guys, we are still here in, I think I called it Cypress Village, Cypress City, I don't know, it's a tree now, I think I'm going to stick with Cypress actually, I kind of like it this place maybe not we'll see um now if you remember in the last episode we start to work on this wall and we got as far as the other side of the smithy over here this corner and then i took the roof off and the roofs hate me um so i did play around a bit in uh, my creative world and basically just decided to go with the same thing I've been doing on the rest of them and I'm gonna keep it the same as the gatehouse in like a um, public building colors kind of thing for it um, but this was what we had on the outside so we had polished anthracite with three normal anthracite in the middle and I completely changed that up as well because when I was doing the rest of it on stream, I decided I didn't like it. Um, and this bit here was really, really awkward to do because it goes up and back down and it wiggly all over the place. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I decided that I didn't like what I'd done and came up with this design instead. And that's kind of what we're going to stick with. I'm going to sleep real quick because night and bad things here so i will be back after a sleep yeah the night is gone just like magic oh wow look at that straight away mobs um so yeah quickly replaced the uh the outside and just had a play around with it and extended the wall all the way over here and uh, now it probably took me about two and a half hours literally just to do this bit and obviously then decided I didn't like it so in the meantime with changing the design and then redoing at least the front bit I've not done the other side just yet and I also decided to plan out a little bit of some of the buildings we were going to do as you can see here a little undecided as to what tree, a uh, pond, statue, fountain, a garden area, could be like a big tree with a garden area, I don't know, actually I kind of like that idea, for some reason I thought that, that lamp was a, a wandering trader then, don't ask why, and um, this would be like the tailors, this big one here is like a tavern inn thing, so that's why it's quite big, because it'll have rooms and things upstairs and I've started adding in these kind of like fade front ends although that technically would be back end I guess yeah um either way then we got the bakery here I was thinking a church kind of like back there tucked away a bit and residential will spread across here and over this way over the hill just that way will be the like the main dock for the land this side so obviously the trade island over there is going to have its own we've got like the bank money depository place here because it doesn't need to make sense just just because um uh, floating leaves and then up here is where the manor house or the guy who kind of owns that it's his cousin or sibling or family member of some kind lives over here and I was thinking maybe to do this back area as like a, a garden for the house and when I was flattening the land just here I noticed we've got this kind of area down here and I thought maybe we could do this as like a um 
like a getaway tunnel of some kind. I built into the into the house or into the basement. Um, but that's something I will have to think of as we do it. I don't know whether or not to do a little bit more resident, like higher end residential here, or not. This place isn't supposed to be too fancy. Um, it's supposed to be over there on the Mushroom Island, because let's face it, that island is massive. But you have a lot of space around. Um, so I've got to fill a lot of space. Now, obviously, this side of the wall here is going to be um bigger farms and things. Up to this point, we've not actually actually got any animal farms or anything like that. And it wouldn't make sense for something of this size to not have that kind of thing. So, I think for the most part, I will have probably some animal farms on the edge side here. So close to the outside, and just so the smell and stuff's away from the shopping area and the that kind of place. Then, obviously, of course, we've got normal fields and things to have. There might be a flower field and stuff like that. Um, there's a Milne's building and, of course, a lighthouse. Now, the docks being here, um, it might be a raised top dock then stairs down to like the actual dock bits which come out and it needs to wrap around here a little bit so we've got plenty of room and we're gonna get some bigger boats in bigger than what we've got with those small dinky ones over there might throw in one or two of those um i don't know we'll see there's quite a bit to get done but i've kind of want to get as much Damn. Um, as much of it done before episode 25 as possible. Now this is episode 20. So we've not got too much time. It might mean I need to do a fair bit off camera and on stream and things like that. Um, and the reason for that is that I want to do a bit of a tour on episode 25 just of everything we've got so far but it'd be more of a you know we'd, we'd walk along on the ground and actually immerse ourselves into it uh, and just see it from that point of view rather than me darting around flying around the sky and kind of just jolting around you'd see a bit more of it but that's that's a little bit of weight just so it might mean that we just progress a few things at a time with jump cuts and things I'm also on the residential there i think and um, these can still be you know intermittent we've got the plans out so we'll see but today we are going to crack on with one of these buildings that i was thinking the inn so, if not the inn, bakery. I want to bathe that window too. So, what we're going to do is, as per, we are going to jump into time lapse and get a building up. I'll see you guys after the time lapse.
So I hope you all enjoyed that um, time lapse there. And we actually got two buildings up. So we have the, I think I said this was going to be the tailor. It's kind of what I've done it as. Um, I've got a little bay window here on the front, still not going with glass. Got the mannequins here inside displaying the goods. And we've got a different coloured faucet. Kind of just look like rolls of carpet. Uh, well, they are technically rolls of carpet, but um, damn it, what's cloth called when it's like this? Bolts of cloth, that's it. So the rolls of bolts of cloth. So we've got the one kind of just leaning over them, and then three different ones here. We've got a couple of looms outside. Be like broken or you know new ones or something like that there that they're getting in and we go inside and we've got children's clothes adult clothes a few more rolls of rolls of cloth bolts of cloth a couple more up here as well so you know you've got a variety to choose from a couple of dyes on the go and you can buy leather a sort of clothes things like that and then upstairs, you know, they're uh, they kind of run out of string, but <laughs> they're creating, you know, like sheets of, what is that a bolt of cloth when it's a sheet? I don't know. I don't know my terminology here. So they're doing like um, loom work here with the, with the rolls. So they've got the roll at the back there and up here, and that's feeding through and uh, creating that here. So we've just got a nice little workspace up here. So unlike the smithy, this isn't residential, that's kind of like work. Then uh, on the outside, we've got obviously the little porch here. Very slightly different on the roof. Uh, I've gone for this window again on the back. Just so we've got some, um, Again, blank for words, uh, linkage between, I'm going with linkage, linkage would be, <laughs> linkage between that one over there and this one here in terms of style and the kind of canopy thing here. And then we've got our bakery. So after the time lapse, I added in this chimney. Um, and what I liked about this one is that we've got it stepping up to to, but we've got it stepping up onto another level so it's quite a bit longer on this front side and we've missed out one of the pillars here on this corner because it would have been in the way coming down here so it does just it, it threw it off a little bit it made this this top bit uneven but yeah well we'll pretend that didn't happen and uh, now i've not decorated the inside here as you can see got a few shader light ray bugs here and then down here, which again, very much not done. We've got like the piles of sugar here and maybe like flour or something there. We're going to have the, the oven down here. And then on the outside of this one, I love this a little bit just here. It's kind of, yeah, it's just nice. And uh, we've got delivery of flour and sugar just piled up outside ready to be taken inside and it just kind of finished the outside of that bit off again different roof um to like that one i mean they're kind of the same that's still pretty much the same it's more like that i guess but obviously i've done the uh, stairs on top to bulk that out a bit I might change it to the iron rails like we've got there, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, we've got a bit more done today than we have. And obviously I've gone along and put down a path everywhere. So we've got all this path in, and I could do with adding some mossy cobble just along just to, to break it up a bit more. Um, but it's a bit more of a substantial path than we've got over that way and uh, could do with a little little bit of something just here and then obviously we've got 
this spot here that I do need something in. Um, so if you guys let me know down in the comments which one of a fountain, statue, pond, big tree, yeah, big tree, and a garden-like area that could incorporate into that. Um, so the pond and the fountain could. Same again with the statue. You know, all those three kind of could link together. I guess. Same with these two. Maybe a pond and a garden area. You know, just let let me know what you guys think. If you've got any ideas for, for what I could do here, I'm myself leaning towards kind of these two with maybe a maybe a pond in there or just like a little puddle thing. Um. But yeah, we've got quite a bit done in this one. But I think that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. As I said, we've got quite a bit done. Um, let me know what you think about what we should get in this spot behind me here. And then in the next episode, we are going to tackle something else here. Or we might do a little bit of something over back towards Birch. Just to get that area a little bit more finished, ready for episode 25, which is going to be our world tour. But as always... Thanks for watching guys, you've been brilliant, ciao for now, bye bye.